Okay, then. Let's talk about the problems of the upper buccal concave. I will tell you what is the upper buccal concave. The upper buccal concave appears in this place. There is a nasolabial fold, right? A nasolabial fold here, and many people may have pores in this place. Many pores. And there is also a hollow in this place. It is difficult for me to describe it with the line, but some people really have a hollow in this place. There is a hollow in this place, and there is also a hollow in this place, making this place have a piece of horizontal muscle. A horizontal muscle here, and a horizontal muscle here. Once this place is filled, and there is a lacrimal groove in this place to be filled, this piece of muscle will be lifted up, then we call it the upper buccal concave. There is also a buccal concave in this place, and this place we usually say, once this part is sunk, people will look old. If this part is sunk, most people's skin will become loose, and this part will also become loose, a bit loose, and this place will also become loose. We call it atrophy. In this place, we will fill it first to make people look young. Filling it up makes people look young, but if people want to be younger, then just bulge it up, just like a baby face. But most people cannot accept it.